Today's beer was given to Redbeard by his fantastic best friend, Marcel. Although the beer of the today might bring his level of fantastic down just a couple notches. be going down people of the world my name is redbeard and this is a daily drink vlog for the beer of the today we have got a bottle of trappist rochefort by abbey saint remy maybe yeah i'm really not sure how to say the name or the brewery. Uh, Abbe St. Remy? I, I... I don't know. Yeah, this was gifted to me by Marcel. It was. Uh, I actually try. He brought over two bottles. And he drank one. And I had one taste of it. And I didn't mind it. So he said, here, I have a whole bottle to try. I can't really remember what it was like. Or if... I don't, I don't know if the one taste is going to mean I'm going to like the whole bottle, so here's hoping. Let's crack her open. Ah, see what we have got. Pretty sure it was dark. Actually, not as dark as I thought. She's strong, though. Quite, quite strong. And it's from Belgium, so I'm not really sure if there might be some kind of weird, scary, yeasty flavors in here. As always, all the thanks in the whole wide world will those you watch my videos. The beard loves you all so very, very, very much. Not really the nicest looking beer, if I'm honest. It's kind of a muddy water quality to it, and there's a whole lot of little chunks that settle down to the bottom. Smells really sweet. Like, almost like some kind of juice that I can't think of right now. It's interesting. Ah, what did I say? What is this stuff? 11, 11.3% 11 alcohol. Let's give her a shot. It's okay. It's like a nice, lingering kind of sweetness that goes along well with the smell. It is... Like, it doesn't taste alcoholy, but there is something about the taste that if I didn't know it was 11%, I would take one drink and be like, that is, that's a strong beer. Yeah, I don't know. Might, I might need to take a small break in the middle of this vlog somewhere. Because th this is not a small beer. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. And cheers to you, Marcel. Thank you for your continued support of my cause. The initial flavor, there is like a little bit of yeasty presence, like some kind of, it's Belgian heritage is kind of showing, if that's a thing that makes sense. Oh. It's not bad, it just, it, it's, it's not a beer that wants to be drank fast, though. Not so much. Today being January 29th, on this date, 1916, during World War I, Paris, Paris, really, Paris, Paris, France, sustained its first bombing attack by German Zeppelins. But this, that's surprising to me that airships, like blimps, were ever used in that kind of capacity like it'd be pretty damn easy to shoot one out of the sky you'd think They're, they don't go all that fast you know like 
the fastest blimps ever, I think, went maybe... Maybe, like, at the absolute most. 100 kilometers an hour? And that might be even, like, giving them a little more credit than they need. But yeah, it just surprises me that that is a thing that happened. Ugh. It's really different. I can't. I don't. I can't think of anything to really compare it to. Yeah, at all. It doesn't really have a damn thing on it. It's, it's best before 2021. So, I, I think we're okay there. And that is literally all that we have here. Extra strong beer, authentic Trappist product. Okay. Like tra trappers, when they're like without catching their animals. This is this how they stay warm? By drinking this. Powerful concoction. He's, he's a little powerful. He's only a small bottle, but still. 11%. Whew. I, I might feel this before the vlog's even done. I don't know. On this date in 1936, the first inductees into the Baseball Hall of Fame were announced. Pretty cool. Uh, baseball's probably my favorite sport. I much prefer to play it than to watch it, but even watching it, I don't mind. A lot of people hate watching baseball. I, I don't mind. I like baseball. I'm not a big fan of football, or hockey even, really. So, I don't know what that says about me, but it's the way it is. Animal hairs. Strong beer. Really strong beer. Ugh. Not the greatest taste. When the burp comes up, to be honest with you, which I, I like to, to be. On this date in 1963, surprisingly, like coinciding with the last thing that I just said, the first inductees into the Pro Football Hall of Fame were announced. It took almost 30 years for them to get a Hall of Fame compared to the baseball one, but they, they still got it eventually. And, and I'll be back eventually because the break is happening. This, this needs to... This needs a moment. And we're back. Yeah, sorry. That was actually... That was a decent fucking little break I just took. Play with the dog for a little bit and stuff. Look at the good little doggy. Look at the dog. Look at how good he is. Look at the pretty doggy. Hello. Hello. Say hello. Honey. Say hello. Hello. Okay, lay down. Be good. Be good. Be good. Be good. Yes. He wants his belly scratched, apparently. Alright, I'm gonna drink and scratch a dog's belly. Yeah. I can multitask. Oh my god. We're, we're getting there. We're almost there. <laughs> yeah, that's enough of that. On this date in 1967, the Mantra Rock Dance took place. It was a really big kind of hippie gathering type thing. If you start fucking biting yourself, dog, I will throw you out the goddamn window. I swear to God. Yeah, right out the window. Yeah, it uh, featured Janis Joplin, The Grateful Dead, Alan's Gin Alan Ginsberg. It was a whole the Harry Krishna religion type thing. It was like it was them, and it was yeah they called the ultimate high of the hippie era. I don't know. Seemed interesting to me. I would have thought the ultimate high would have been Woodstock, which was 1969, was it not? Still the whole hippie era going on. 
dog. Come here. What are you doing? Come here. Come on. Lay down. Good boy. There you go. Uh, Mom, if you're watching this video, there's a good chance you're getting your dog back soon. He's bloody annoying sometimes. Ah. It's decent, but it's... It's got that underlying Belgian kind of yeastiness. It's it's masked, but at the same time, like my, my tongue knows. <laughs> it's like, no, you're trying, you're trying to make it like something else, but that's still Belgian. Even though they are one of like the biggest beer brewing countries on the planet. I just, I, I prefer the beer that's being made in different ways by other countries pretty much oh my god oh like it's not terrible it's just i don't know it's it's got a certain to it that i can't explain that's exactly it. that's the technical term it's a Fucking meh. Oh, you know what? Might be a bad idea, but... Finally on this date in 2002, in his State of the Union address, President George W. Bush described a the reg, regime... That's the regimes. Regimes. My God, I can't speak right now. That sponsored terror. He called the whole axis of evil, evil thing. He called them. Yeah. In, in which he included Iraq, Iran, and North Korea. Not really wrongly. Mwah. Sorry. Random weird yawn for no reason. I'm not tired. I got plenty of sleep last night. I don't know. Hair. Hair everywhere. But yeah, the whole bad idea thing I was going for was we're going to like read the last fact and then go drink number the last. Which... Here's hoping I'm okay. Oh, it's weird. Really, really weird beer. I can't even fucking... Abbey dis... Abbey St. Remy. I don't fucking know how to say this shit. You're... This beer. This particular beer. Rate it. <laughs> Give that like maybe a... Six and a half to a seven. Somewhere in there. Not really... Solid anything. It wasn't terrible, but it really, it was really different and just, I don't know, if you're adventurous and you want to try something new and you come across a bottle of that, give her shit. And that's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button if you want to see more of my videos. And be sure to smash that subscribe button if you've got something to say to me, then put some comments in the box down below. But thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. A Peace out! I can at least say with great certainty that I did kind of enjoy this overall more than that half hour's tart brown weirdness that your girlfriend gave me Marcel so you can I don't know throw that in her face or something if you want to be a dick <laughs>